We begin the story on a dark and cold night. Night. In the middle of nowhere, out in the woods. Woods. In those woods, an old man was experimenting in the dark arts. Dark arts. Dark arts? Yeah, witchcraft and stuff. Wait, I, I thought a witch was a chick. The old man would spend years by himself experimenting on corpses that he dug up at the local graveyard. Some say that he would begin to build an army of the undead to take over and rule the world. The world. But something went terribly wrong. The corpses overwhelmed him and consumed his flesh. <laughs> Dude, stop ruining the story. After killing their master, they would wait for years for their next victim. <laughs> Knock it off. After having nowhere to go, the corpses would return to the earth in which they came. They would bury themselves in the ground in these very woods. Can you hear them? Can you hear them underneath us right now? Dude, stop with the lame moan. That was me. Uh, it's a 58.27 on the Ecto Wavelength. What is that, a class 5? <laughs> no, barely a class 4. It's Book this ghost, Dano! It's Lit Bookum Dano. Stupid commie, where are you from? Fakistan? Move! neighborhood when we picked up on this phantasm signal. What's this? Give me that. You ain't 21, are you? Um. <clears throat> yeah, dude. Yeah, right. Pavel. Nice. Ed! Looks like you're driving. Shouldn't you kids be at home studying? Dude, it's Saturday. You know, you really shouldn't drink alcohol. Studies have shown that alcohol leads to a decrease in brain function. Drugs are bad too. And, um, drunk driving and, uh, abortion is, well, I don't really have an opinion on that. Who are you guys? We're the Ghostbusters.
Who are you going to call indeed? The Denver Ghostbusters. Those paranormal eliminators who protect the safety of Joe Public. Ed Spengler, nephew of ghost-busting great Egon Spengler. Team leader, scientist, and television star, Pavel Karnov. Trained by the best after the fall of the Iron Curtain. I like what I do. Neil Anderson, ladies' man, and self-proclaimed badass. Excuse me, are you guys worried that you're going to put yourselves out of a job? Out of a job? Are you crazy, man? As long as people keep dying, there will always be ghosts. But what about the activists that are rallying around the rights of ghosts? Look, I'm a real busy guy. Would you like an autograph or something? The Ghostbusters arrived in Denver three years ago. How come Channel 4 gets all the sensations? These guys are a joke, man. They're better than anything you two have turned in in the past week. Our story last night was great. I mean, the firemen prevailed, a kitten was rescued, and... Shut up! There's a story of hope. April, I thought you were better than this. Channel 4's getting all the news. I just hope the advertisers don't find out about it and pull out. You know, we need something good. Like, these Ghostbusters are a hot item right now. Ghostbusters? Oh, okay, so I'm better than stories about kittens trapped in trees, but I'm not quite good enough for real news. Now, April, I know you're bitter about the anchor position, but I need you in the field. This is embarrassing, Chief. I need a real story. Now, there are these Egyptian artifacts coming into town. Frederick's team's on this. They've got an interview set up with Dr. Constantine. He's the chief archaeologist. Frederick's pieces are so flat. Come on, put me on this one, Chief. Yeah, give us a chance. Tell you what, if you can get an appointment with the Ghostbusters, then I'll give you a follow-up interview with Dr. Constantine. Just like you'd let me off that anchor position, right, Chief? April, let's just take it. If we get a hold of the Ghostbusters by tomorrow, then we could have the production in post by tomorrow afternoon. Hmm. In time for the evening news. Now that would be good competition for Channel 4. Mr. Jenks, I really don't think that this is a good story. I don't want to take it. You should be thanking me for what I give you. Now just take it, go and do your job. Uh-oh. Good morning, sunshine. You know how Ed always uh, compares the human brain to a sponge? Yeah, yeah. Always soaking up information and stuff. Yeah. It feels like somebody used my brain to clean a toilet and then tried to wring it out. Big night last night? <clears throat> yeah. I had it pretty hard with a friend. Pavel? <clears throat> Jack Daniels. Where are the guys, anyway? Ed's TV show. They're taping this afternoon. No. Oh. Those punks don't get a day off. If they get a day off, I get a day off. Look, hold all my calls. Because once my ass hits that couch, I'm not getting up until dinner time. Quantum Leap reruns. All day. I'm not here. Good morning, Denver Ghostbusters. I'm sorry, none of them are available. No, ma'am. I... Okay, hold on. Neil, she wants to talk to you. Hi, ma'am. How are you doing? Yeah, great. Um, look, we're pretty booked up over here, swimming inspectors and such. Uh, let me see if we got any openings. You're going to regret it. It's looking like uh, the last Wednesday of the month is the earliest. So I think I'm going to pass you back off to my secretary here. You go ahead and give her your number. We'll get back to you as soon as we can. Thanks a bunch for calling. I'm sorry about that, ma'am. I'll have them call you back. Yeah, and your number was... Okay. And your name was... April Hunter! April Hunter? April Hunter? Channel 8 News, April Hunter? The hot chick! You said you weren't interested. The hot chick. What do you want? You want an interview? She want me? <sighs> she wanted to meet the Ghostbusters. I told her you'd call her back. <sighs> Did you get her number? Yes, of course I got her number. Right, right here. All right, all right, all right. Call her back until I can meet her this afternoon, okay? But Ed and Pavel are taping this afternoon. I don't care. They, they got their own limelight. It's time for me to get a piece, all right? Besides, don't you think I'm professional enough to handle one little interview? Ed 
Greetings and welcome to the show. I am Ed Spingler, the science nerd, and this is my esteemed colleague, Pavel Karnoff. Now, today we will be putting the finishing touches on the Neutron Accelerator. For those of you who join us at home, don't forget proper protection. Good point, Pavel. That's why I recommend a level 4 radiation suit, complete with two, not one, but two layers of lead paneling, a heart monitor, and a gamma ray attuned built-in Geiger counter. But, since we don't have any of that, We'll use safety goggles and rubber gloves, which can be purchased at your local hardware store. This is a good opportunity to support local business, not corporate whores. Uh, now, Pavel, we need to speak kindly about our sponsors. Once this uh, miniature reactor is finished, we'll be able to generate an energy field by converting hydrogen into helium. Oh, sounds very dangerous. It is. That's why we have the subatomic housing set to counter the intense gravitational field and heat that will be generated by the process. For those of you following along at home, don't forget your subatomic house. Okay, you see here, you got the standard proton pack, okay? You got uh, little knobs here to adjust stream length and stream intensity. I don't know what that does. Um, yes, that's very interesting. Could we perhaps get some footage of you firing it for the story? In here? Why not? You're a professional, aren't you? Well, yeah, uh, yeah, 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 damn straight I'm a professional. We can do that, sure, why not? All right, Gallagher, get this. I'm on it. Okay, you guys are going to want to step back a little. All right. There we go. Uh, a little farther. Yeah, okay. Are you guys ready? Oh, yeah. Let's go ahead and switch this thing on. All right, give you guys a little show. Here we go. Okay, okay, um, hmm. Uh, yeah, see I am a professional, you see that? The uh, ceiling is now on fire uh, and I'm not worried. Um, there Maybe you should. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, Hold this. Okay. That about does it for the fundamental particle chamber. We now should be able to positively and negatively charge electrons at a rate similar to that found in small stars. Like Gary Coleman. Or would he be considered a small has-been? What you talking about, Pavel? Okay, this, this here is uh, the protection grid for the ecto-containment unit. It's been upgraded from the old system and is now all digital. So you keep people's souls in a computer? Well, yeah, I get it. Yeah, that's right, actually. Uh, here, let me just show you. If you uh, go right there. Uh, just, just a second. It's okay. Uh, well, well, it's uh, it's fine. It does this all the time. We should step back. Coming back in thirty seconds. Hello? Hey! Quick, you gotta get back here, man. The containment unit is trying to pur perjuring. What? What did you do? I don't know, I'm just clicking on stuff. Is that an alarm I hear in the background? Maybe. Yes. <sighs> All right, I'll be there in six and a half minutes. Pavel, you're gonna have to take over. What? What, what should I do? It'll be easy, just talk to the camera. There's only a few minutes left in the show anyway. Okay. Do not touch anything. Where the hell are you going? I gotta stop the containment unit from purging. Get this wait, there's like 10 minutes left of the in show. In 10 minutes, half the city will be vaporized. Besides, I 
got Pavel to cover for me. Yeah, so we've been at this for a few years now, so that's pretty good. The boys back in Manhattan, they get sued all the time. We've been lucky we've avoided that issue. So I had this dream last night, right? I, more, more like a nightmare. It's, I was trapped in these movies and I couldn't get out. Has that ever happened? What? We're 30 seconds late, man. I got held up coming out of the studio. <sighs> Neil, I have told you a million times, do not mess around with the containment unit. Especially the protection grid. Will you relax, man? It's for a news story. Figured we could use the publicity. Hi, I'm April Hunter from Channel 8 News. Ed Spingler, Paranormal Elimination and Investigation. So, I suppose you're curious as to how the containment unit works. Actually, yes, I am curious. <laughs> well, it's pretty basic, really. We're all made up of atoms, which are basically electrical particles vibrating and bouncing around. Now, the law of conservation states that energy cannot be created or destroyed. So, when a person dies, their life energy disperses throughout the galaxy to heaven or hell or whatever it is you believe in. But sometimes, for whatever reason, some of that energy sticks around and uh, that's what keeps us in business. Harvesting souls. Electrical anomalies, Miss Hunter. Psychokinetic energy. And, with the encoder I built, we can convert those ghosts into a signal and from there, it's a snap to storm in the computer. Provided Pavel hasn't crammed the memory full of porn. <laughs> like I said, it's simply erratic residual energy left over when a person dies. We're not talking Dante's Inferno here. And who are you to decide the fate of humanity's souls? Well, first off, we bust bad ghosts. And frankly, goblins have killed in the past, making it quite serious. My colleague is right. Our clients call us when they have a problem. If our work wasn't satisfactory, then we wouldn't get paid. So what it really comes down to is your money. Look, don't make me your straw man. We're scientists here. Yeah. Well, I'm a scientist. I'm sorry, I'm just trying to be the objective reporter here. Get the facts straight. Well then get this straight. Around here, people consider us heroes. We help people in this town and we do damn fine work. I believe we have everything we need. Bye. Hey, wait a second, wait up. I cannot wait to see the footage on this, guys. I think this is gonna make a great story. I think it went really well in there. Well, you're in luck. Uh, hopefully it'll air tonight. Very, very cool, very cool. You know what? You never thanked me for saving your life in the night. He thanked my life. You know, if I recall correctly, it was uh, Mr. Spangler that turned off the containment system before it went critical. If anything, you almost ended my life. Come on. Ouch. Hey, wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. How about I make it up to you over dinner? Dinner? Shut, Shut up. up! I got a 12-pack with your name on it. I'd love to, I really would, but um, I got another interview to do. Yeah, but is he a celebrity? I mean, come on. Yeah, he is. I'm sure you've heard of him, Klaus Constantine. He's been in the news quite a lot. Yeah, it rings a bell. Mm. So what, you date all your assignments? No, just the ones that aren't jerks. Come on. We're here on location near the ancient Egyptian city of Sinopolis, where Dr. Klaus Constantin and his team have made a remarkable discovery. Tell us about it, Professor. Well, sir, it would appear that what we have discovered is, in fact, the Amulet of Anubis. And what is, what is that? The Amulet of Anubis. It's an ancient talisman fabled to carry the powers of Anubis, the most ancient guardian of the underworld. According to ancient Egyptian beliefs, Sounds very old. And uh, how many times are we going to watch this tape? I'm very worried about this story, Neil. <sighs> All right, let's hear it. Well, I've been researching this amulet that Constantine has recovered. Anubis is an incredibly ancient god, the god of the underworld, according to ancient Egyptian myth. He was responsible for escorting souls through the afterlife to their final judgment. He was also responsible for feeding souls of sinners to Amit, the eater of the dead. So... What? No heaven? No anything. 
Being fed to Amit meant the soul would vanish into oblivion with no further hope of existence. So, Constantine can eat souls with this amulet thingy? Well, sort of. If he figured out how to decipher it, he could open up a gateway to an alternate dimension. The afterlife, or Hall of Two Truths, according to ancient Egyptian mythology. <laughs> Bobble, we're just in time. Ed's making another apocalypse prediction. And we're going to be studying the find at my lab in Denver later this week. Professor Constantine. What, you know him? Okay. Tell you what, you stay here and daydream about Constantine all you want. I'm hitting the bar. You down? You buying? You driving? It's a deal, comrade. Let's drink. Let's do it. If this talisman actually carries the powers of Anubis, I'd be interested in finding ways to harness them. Perhaps as a weapon? For the good of mankind, of course. What are you up to, Professor? Here's the crate you asked for, Professor. Oh, excellent. Thank you. The amulet of Anubis. Something I've been searching for my entire professional life. Where are the rest of the crates from the expedition? They're on their way to the museum. Well, I'll need some time with this one. I'll bring it back tomorrow. Personally. All right, whatever you say, sir. Oh. Uh, sir? Hey, I don't know if this is something you'd be interested in or not, but a couple of us are going to go down to Chuck E. Cheese's later on and try to pick up some MILFs. Some what? Yeah, you know. There's lots of them that hang out there for some reason or other. Mechanical puppets or something, I don't know. But I didn't really want to tell you. They just asked me to ask you, so... Uh, you want to do it or not? Some other time, perhaps. I have a later engagement. Wow. With a woman? Of course with a woman! A nice, beautiful reporter woman. Is it so hard to believe that a man... But a man like me can find love. No, no. I mean, yeah, but but it's not because you're crippled, all right? It's because you're not very good looking. And, uh, no, don't take that the wrong way. You know you're not very good looking. Just look at the mirror, God Quiet. Me. I'll see you tomorrow. All right, whatever. Just stay and fondle your little amulet or whatever. Have a good time without me. So, Pavel, tell me what you know about Professor Pavel Boy. I just don't think he's a nice fella. That's all. Hey, look, we're on television, eh? Oh, for Christ's sakes. Can somebody change the channel in here? See, huh? Hey, I know what's up. You're sweet on this reporter girl, aren't you? What? No way, man. Oh. No. Oh. Well, sort of. Yeah. Definitely. Why don't you just ask her out? What the hell do you know about women anyway? Women just like confidence. Watch this. Hello, lady. I know someone who wants to beat your ass. Oh, yeah? Who? My balls. You're cute. See? You've got to be shitting me, man. That's the worst line I've ever heard. Oh, jeez. Are these crackpots out of here? What was that, Chief? These Ghostbuster freaks. They're crackpots. Idiots like them give the country a bad name. You know what I think? I think your mouth makes this country look bad. Smell bad too. Hmm. What do we got here? Piss? Is this uh your your beverage of choice at this fine establishment, you smart mouth? Hey, you better watch what you say to me, stupid face. I'll say whatever I want, sausage tits. No, you won't, sausage face. 
Why don't you, uh, stop repeating my insults and adding the word face to them, you moron? Hey, relax, dumb rat, okay? Hey, blow out your ass, you communist pig. Hey. Well, by using miniature microfusion reactions, it creates quantum leaps in atoms forming supercharged electron particles. This in turn causes the protons to be held together at 10,000 times the forces in a standard proton pack. Sounds complicated. Elementary, really. It's a prototype of a new pack I'm working on. I call it the Neutrino Pack. Ghostbusters. Hi, Annie, it's Neil. It's Neil. Hello. Hey, Ed. Can you come pick me and Pavel up? What? You guys can't walk home? Not without posting bail. All right. I guess I'll have to TiVo American Idol. Well, that interview, that, that was a lot of fun. You have a lot of presents. Thank you very much. I had a wonderful time tonight, April. Well, that's great. <laughs> Well, uh, this is my place. <laughs> April, it's lovely. <laughs> April, darling, you've been addressing me as Mr. All Night. Please, call me Klaus. Mr. Constantine. What is it? I like you a lot. I enjoy your company greatly. I just had to do an interview. And that's all that I really... Just one moment, please. Hello? Good evening, Mr. Constantine. Can this not wait until morning? The rest of the board wanted me to call as soon as possible. What information does the Congre have to send? They're pulling funding for your project, Klaus. What? You can't do this! I've only begun deciphering... The board feels the company has already lost enough money on this project. They're not seeing the results you promised. I said the damn amulet would take time to decipher. You're not being fair. We have a deadline to meet. We're going to go with another project. You backstabbers! We had a deal! Labrat Enterprises produces weapons for military use, Mr. Constantine. You're talking about some sort of godstone that consumes the souls of the living. Yes. And what greater weapon is there? An offer is on the table that we can't refuse. Goodbye. <laughs> Sons of bitches! You said the amulet was for educational purposes. You said that it was for the good of mankind. It shows what the hell you know. There isn't enough money in education to pay for a Greyhound ticket to Wichita. You're a two-faced jerk. Listen here, you little Tootsie Roll. I'm a scientist. We don't work for free. Live with it. You are just trying to make a quick buck. And it's disgusting. You are disgusting. And what do you know, hmm? What do you know? You're just a media whore, probably sleeping away to the top. And the only reason you got this job is because you're so young and pretty. Oh! How dare you strike me? I'm a powerful scholar! I'm happy I'm a powerful... Oh! Oh! Sweet honesty! Ah. Oh, oh. Jesus. Ed, you look like hell. Late night. So, did the ratings come in? Yeah. That's what I want to talk to you about. Did we get the new time slot? Look, Ed, don't get me wrong. I like you. We all like you. We think you do a good show. It's just, you don't really connect with our younger audience. 
this is a science show. Kids aren't going to be interested in this unless it has some overrated actor playing pranks on other celebrities or, or pimping someone's ride. This is an educational show. Doesn't the government pay for part of this? Yeah, but we also lost three advertisers last week. So you're canceling the show? No, 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 no. Definitely not. So what's the problem then? Do you want me to be funnier? We're replacing you. What? We need someone who can connect with the kids. Someone cooler. Someone street smart. Someone... Jive. Like who? I'm not interrupting anything, am I, Robert? Var, come on in. I'd like you to meet Ed Spangler. Oh, <laughs> All right. Nice to meet you. I heard so much about you. You're um, a Ghostbuster, <laughs> right? How are things? Uh, couldn't be better. Sorry I have to meet you like this, but hey, I'm sure you'll get by. Your soul harvesting business is doing good. What is it with that term? What else are you supposed to call it? The same thing we've always called it, busting ghosts. Now look, Rob, I've been hosting this show for six months. I've got two PhDs. He's not qualified. Actually, I have a PhD, and I'm working on my second. Oh, come on, he's like 15. Actually, he's the youngest ever to receive a PhD from Cornell. He's like the black Doogie Hauser. <laughs> Thank you. And I've written a New York Times bestseller. Oh, give me a break. Anybody who's been published is on that list. Dr. Phil is on that list for a diet book. A diet book! Well, let's just say he's not exactly in shape himself. I know this is tough to grasp. Look, Ed, uh, like I said, we like you. We'll keep you in mind for other shows. And why don't you use your talents to benefit mankind instead of enslaving its afterlife? Maybe I'll save a soul for you. Seems like you could use one. Ahmet Sadim Klaus Konstantin Miri Rai Niepert I request the power and accept the burden Anubis God of the two halls I request the power and accept the burden Damn it! I was wrong here. I did everything. I, did. I deciphered the language. Of course, I need to power the amulet. And the only way to do that is with a celestial sacrifice. <laughs> of course, a human soul. Not something I can pick up at the supermarket or a 7-Eleven. And how long can I contain it for as long as I need it? The ghost traps trap the ghosts and we can store them in this containment facility as long as necessary. Actually, indefinitely if need be. Ghostbusters. There, now that's news. April, your ratings are up. Well, I mean, that story was nothing. All we had to do was point the camera and that idiot blabbermouth did the rest. They were cool, though. Yeah. So what's next, Chief? Something a little bit more exciting? Next? This is a gold mine. People can't get enough of this stuff. I want you to go back to these folks. Back? Hell yes. This is a gold mine. You know, I want a week-long expose. I want to show the city what it's like to be a Ghostbuster for a week. No, 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 no. You sent Frederick to Egypt. You made Adam anchor. What do they have that I don't? April, you'll get your chance yet. Now just do your job. Go out there. Dig up some dirt. So this is all about making them look bad? No, it's about business. This isn't right. It's not about right or wrong. It's oh, I just don't like the idea of making them look bad. April... I'm trying to do you a favor. This is good stuff. I want you to be out there. I want you to... Okay, April. If you do this for me, I'll make you anchor by the end of the month. Anchor? 
Well, I just... Now go, go do your job, okay? And show some enthusiasm, will you? Oh, I'm enthused. Greetings. Oh, hello. May I help you? Yes, I'm here to see the Ghostbusters. Okay, well, they're on a case right now. Would you like to make an appointment? Yes. What do you have at the earliest? Well, uh, let's see here. They're pretty busy. It looks like the first available would be next Thursday. <laughs> Like that, it'd be great. Oh, God, you're impulsive. I'm not picky, so. What do you ask your man and crippled? And I mean, a change? hey. Why don't we see what this thing is? I have seen one of those. Yes. Is, is there money in there? <laughs> you should be the first to find uh -huh. out. <laughs> Your pathetic soul. <laughs> My first one. <laughs> new fairies. New fairies. New fairies. With this offering, I accept the gift and the burden of some of your great power. the new pack this time. Uh, I don't think so. I still need to test it a bit. Come on, man. Why do you get to have all the fun? Look, I'm taking a big enough risk by bringing it here already with all the press coverage we've been getting. That's such BS. You know what? Just let me try the new pack. I mean, what's the worst that could happen? Look, this is not a piece of equipment to toy with. If it goes critical, it could detonate a 60 gigaton explosion. Or worse. Collapse onto itself, creating matter so dense that it becomes a black hole. Why is it every time we get a new piece of equipment, you dive into the science talk? All I want to do is try out the new pack, and I don't see what the big deal is. Come on, Dad. Just let them try it. Hey, the Pavel, come on, man. Pa all right, all right. I just want you to take it seriously. I take everything seriously. You know that. I'm serious is my middle name. Thank God you guys are here. How many are there? Uh, more than one, for sure. Um... This isn't too much trouble, is it? Only for your bank account, pal. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. There's uh, no smoking in here. Thanks. My PKE integrated cell phone seems to be malfunctioning. What's the matter? Run out of minutes there, jackass? Definitely is a strong signal. Pavel, use your Ecto motion tracker. Right. I've got something here. Multiple signals, front and behind. What, where, man? I don't see anything. Look sharp, people. 
They're closing. There. Forgive me for my intrusion. I promise to be brief. I'll go this way. You could have just told me. Gee. Neil, you wait here. Hello, Channel 8. You might want to send someone down to the Mayan Theater. Quickly. The Ghostbusters are attacking the staff. No, the Ghostbusters. No, the Ghostbusters! They're attacking the... Ghostbusters! They've taken their goddamn souls! I have something here. What is it? A whole bunch of ectoplasm. Yeah, I've got some in here as well. Uh, but there's a lot here. It's on the ceiling. Well, what's a lot? We've seen loads of this stuff before. It's bubbling? Is that a question or an observation? Turn it down! Well, I don't know how to work this goddamn thing! Can you comprehend the implications of what you just did? You just completely obliterated a soul! Well, it was bad, right? <sighs> Ed! Ed, come on! An unknown source has claimed that the Ghostbusters are responsible for putting the employees of this theater into comas. However, Comas? One of our packs malfunctioned and destroyed a ghost. So the Ghostbusters are now murdering spirits. Uh, whoa. Wait a second. That was an accident. April, what the hell are you doing? I'm doing my job just like you. Do you know anything about these comas? Look, I don't know what the hell went on out here. And that was the scene downtown tonight when the Ghostbusters started attacking innocent people. Uh... The new pack uh, wasn't thoroughly tested, and uh, it somehow malfunctioned, and a soul was destroyed. It was my fault, really. I just should have tested it more thoroughly. Ed Spangler, leader of the Denver Ghostbusters, also built the machine that destroyed the ghost. Ed and team have been under scrutiny, questioning the ethics behind what they do. And tonight's incident has caught the attention of the federal government, who will reportedly seek to pass legislation on ghostbusting as well as dealings with the afterlife. Get that good camera out of my face! 
A cease and desist has already been ordered on the Denver Ghostbusters as more coma victims continue to pile up across the city. April, what's the deal? Why, why, why are you trying to make us look bad? It's nothing personal, Neil. It's just the news. Yeah, it's just bad news. Yeah, well, bad news is the only type of news that sells, okay? People don't like hearing about happy stories. They like hearing about stories that make their miserable little lives seem a little bit better. What really happened in there, Neil? I don't know. We came down here, it was a routine bust, come outside and this. Everybody thinks we're bad. I don't think that you're that bad. Then why do the story? I don't... I don't know my, my boss. He just thinks that this will help my career, and I just... All right. All right. Why don't we just... Why don't we talk about it over... Dinner. go home and get some sleep. Yeah. Hey, where are you going? I can't at MacGyver. I don't need any more of your crap. I'm taking April to dinner. Oh, oh, hurts, doesn't it? It's in the shop. Oh, okay. Thanks. Sparks in the air tonight. Dropping off or picking up? Um, neither. Uh, good evening, ma'am. This is uh, Agent J. I'm Agent K. I'd like to ask you a few questions. found this man behind your establishment. Did anybody see or hear anything this evening? No, I was playing video games all night, and earlier I was watching Batman and Robin. I'm and not looking before... for an alibi tonight, ma'am. I'm just looking to ask you a few questions. Wait, Batman and Robin? The television show or the crappy George Clooney movie? I didn't think it was that bad. Oh, please. All the cool, icy, chill, freeze analogies. My god, the bat suit had nipples on it. Okay. First of all, we need to get this man to a hospital. Second, any movie with Uma Thurman in it is okay in my book, man. Yeah. We're gonna need an ambulance at 7345 South 17th Street. I got a 1020. I got a 105. What's the code for comatose? I got a coma guy. This is very strange. I'm getting a 0.0, .0 reading on the PKE meter. What does that mean? The PKE meter detects even the slightest amount of psychokinetic energy. Every living soul on the planet emits at least some signal. This man, he has no soul. What, is he a politician? No, it appears that someone or something has stolen this man's soul. I'd like to get him inside. I could do a few tests. No can do, Doc. We got the ambulance on the way right now. This guy appears to be in the same condition that the others were at the Mayan Theater. Are they all right? I haven't heard anything. They're all down the same areas. They're still alive, but sleeping it off like this guy. 
I'm afraid this doesn't look too good for your company, sir. I swear, I had nothing to do with this. If I could get him inside, I could run a few tests, and I could figure all of this out. Murderers? Messing with ghosts isn't good enough. Now you have to mess with the living. Wait right here. So, should we take the body inside? Yep. Hey, well, I had a great time tonight. I did too. We should get together and do it again sometime. Definitely. Only I pick the place next time, okay? What, no fish tacos? No, no fish tacos. Those were good. Yeah, I'm thinking something a little bit more authentic. Italian, maybe. Candles. Yeah, we can do that. But hey, I'm tired. I'm gonna get to bed. Yeah, I, I got stuff to do too, so. Okay. <laughs> Good, night. Good night. Oh, hey, drive careful. Hey, it's me. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. All right. Bye. Hey, I saw that, you pussy. Too lame to go in for the kiss? I'm not lame. Yeah, whatever. But you haven't been late in years. Kiss my sack. You don't wait long to get back on the wagon, do you? How the hell did you get in here? The window was open. I'm calling the cops. I've decided to give you one last chance to join me. Your legs... Lying about secret weapon contracts is one thing. Pretending to be in a wheelchair, it's just... I am just... offering you one last chance to be my queen! Forget it. Get out of here, you freak! All right. But first, there's something I'd like to show you. How the hell did you get that? I'm calling the police. They cannot help you. No! 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 Oh. no. Hey, what's going on in here? Miss Hunter, are you okay? I'm fine, he was just leaving. Good day. Sorry for interrupting. It sounded like something was going on in here. No, everything's fine now, thank you. Can you please make sure that that gentleman finds his way out of the building completely? Will do. Hey, you! Sir, I'm gonna have to ask you to leave the building. I don't know what the problem is. I was just trying to show her something. I don't think she wants to see anything you've got to show her. Well then, perhaps you'd like to see. Hey, good morning, boys. April, what are you doing here? Good morning, lady. I'm making blinza. Yeah, you want to stay for breakfast? Sure. <laughs> unconscious in the hallway. It's strange. Constantine is walking now, too. So you're saying that Constantine has one of our traps? That's what it looked like, yes. If Constantine has one of our traps, he may be able to figure out how to use wait, it. Wait, wait, wait. You know, I heard that if you look into that thing while it's closing, it can make you impotent. What? Well, like, you can't go when you need to? That's incontinence. I think you get that, too. Is that true? That's good. Ed, are you impotent? Dr. Stance's theory is that the eyes are a window into the soul. Therefore, if a living person were to look into the trap as it was closing, it could steal their life essence, rendering that person... What? A flesh-craving zombie, Ed? ...in a comatose state. Pavel. What? Do you think that Constantine would ever intentionally steal a person's soul? Wait a minute. Why the hell would he know? I think he would do anything to unlock his amulet. I knew it! I knew you knew more than you wanted me to know you knew! What do you know? 
Pavel is a former student of Constantine's. What the hell is going on here, Pavel? Are you working for him? So what, Ed gets to know about your past and you keep it a secret from me? I didn't think it was a big deal. Big deal? This guy's stealing souls for Christ's sake. And as far as I'm concerned, you're an accomplice. And you, you son of a bitch, you could have clued me in on this. Please, calm down. No, this is bullshit. I take enough of Ed's crap, I don't need it from you two. Neil, there are more important things going on here than you and your ego. Ego? You think I have an ego. Why don't we ask her? Do I have an ego? Well, it, it's just... Oh, that's just great. I guess I'll take me and my ego and get out of here. You can help them stop Constantine. Great. I've ruined everything. Ed, I'm sorry. No, it's not your fault. Along with the city revoking our business now, I've driven Neil away. Did the bureaucrats take all of your equipment? Well, we still have the neutrino pack and a couple of traps. And I'm very thankful that for now they haven't touched the containment unit. Face it, Ed. The Ghostbusters are finished. <laughs> of the underworld has summoned something that's going to devour every soul on the planet. Amit, the eater of the dead, Your Honor. The powers of Anubis. Forget it. I don't care. But this, this is not going to happen in Denver. This doesn't really happen anywhere, man. And soon it could be everywhere, like Starbucks. Can you stop it? Possibly. First, we need to evacuate this area of the city. The psychokinetic readings for these coordinates are off the charts. If we could isolate the threat here... Done. What else do you need? Well, if it's not too much trouble, we'd like our uh, equipment back. Hello. Hi. Sitting there like that. Look, kid, if it's all the same to you, I really just prefer not to be bothered right now, okay? Allison, come on, we're leaving. Sounds like your mom's calling you anyway. You don't want to get in trouble. What's wrong? I. I had a fight with some friends as well. My father says that fighting builds character. My parents have a lot of character. Maybe they should quit. Well, I have to go. We're leaving the city. Leaving the city? Why? Haven't you been paying attention?
too dangerous. Well, if you fail, the world's going to end anyway. She's got a point. All right, let's rock this Casper. Camera 17 is sending us a feed. It's April. What's she got? Broadcast that. Interrupt all feeds. Get New York and LA on the lines. Some sort of ghost tornado erupting from downtown Denver. A tornado, if you will. Denver at this point has been evacuated. The mayor has sent out another warning. What? I thought you guys were out of business. We're here by order of the mayor. The system is so screwed up these days. Isn't it sort of cliched every time that there's a disaster, you get to meet the mayor? Klaus, you must stop this. This is madness. You don't know what you're doing. I am a god, and I know exactly what I'm doing. As Pavel. Cleansing the earth of evil, huh? Precisely. You were a better man before. This power has corrupted you. A better man? A cripple in a wheelchair! I was never a better man, no! Being a man is nothing compared to being a god. And I plan to release this planet from the wickedness of man. Not everyone is wicked! Well, you can't make an omelet without breaking a few eggs now, can you? These aren't eggs we're talking about. These are people's souls. I'll do what it takes to stop you. Show me your best Ghostbuster. <laughs> This time, he's not gonna get away. Be careful. Lavar? What are you doing here? I'm here to put a stop to all this nonsense. Oh, good. We could really use your help right now. No, I'm here to stop you. What you do is wrong. 
I'm placing you under citizen's arrest. LeVar, we're trying to save the world here. Can't we set aside our differences? Okay. Setting aside all of our differences. What the hell is that? I've never seen a ghost that big before. But you can stop it, though, can't you? I thought you didn't want us meddling in the affairs of the afterlife. I, I take it back. I'm glad you've come to your senses, Pavel. I could use you. As we destroy the world, I'll need an assistant. I don't think so. But you'll be worshipped as a god. Money, power, it will all be yours. What good is money and power when you have no one to share it with? Well, I don't plan to destroy every human. But those that accept me as their god will be spared. Join me, Pavel. have no effect on the beast. Can you go any faster? Hell yeah. This is a big ass dragon. Punch that thing. I have an idea. What? An idea. Oh, I heard you. What's your idea? Well, we'll, we'll hurt it. Like, like cattle. What will it be, Pavel? You already know my answer. Your death shall be swift. does it for stupid snake face. You came, you saw, you kicked its ass! Nice! Yes! Nice going, guys. Ed! I failed! I couldn't stop him! Let's try this!
energy in that alternate dimension to fuel his amulet. If he gains enough power, he'll be able to keep it open permanently. Oh, no. It's never in, so what do we do? Hey, let me think a second. Ed, there's something wrong with this thing. Oh no, the pack's gone critical, it's overloading. What the hell does that mean? The subatomic housing is overheated. The matter is beginning to collapse into the antimatter. That's bad, right? For this dimension, Keep it souls after all. Not a girl. Oh, she's good. I knew you'd be back, Neil. Well, I guess I couldn't let you steal my limelight, could I? <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. Hug. Precisely what I was thinking. All right. Hell no. No. Good work, LeVar. Thanks, Ed. You know, I was wrong about you. Pavel. I'm really glad you're one of the good guys. Hey, man. What do you think happened to Constantine? Well, he's toast. There is still no sign of the Ghostbusters who hours ago entered the strange building. And we have still not... Here they come now. What was it like in there? Well, I gotta tell you, that was a close one. Uh, the threat has been eliminated. All we have to do is uh, return these souls to their rightful owners. I'm gonna do a special on my show of Halavar. Gordon almost died twice. I think I will go to Disneyland. Oh, mother. Were there any human casualties? Uh, the cripple? No, be careful. You know, what's important is that we get these souls back to their rightful owners. And Ed here is going to describe the device that's going to do just that. Oh, um, yeah, I created a device that uh, captures psychokinetic energy and polarizes it so that uh, you can use the electromagnetic aura that is a residual um, result to... I'm just bullshitting. Can you edit this out later? Alec, we're alive. Oh, um, as I was saying, psycho... What are your feelings now that you've come out? Okay. You know what? That's, that's, that's enough, okay? There's no feelings, and there's no more pictures. We're going home. We're tired. Guys, we're out of here. I will call you. Maybe. I thought we were getting to be their friends. And the day is once again saved by the Ghostbusters. I'm April Hunter from Channel 8 News, reminding you, don't be afraid of no ghosts. Cleanup crews will be working around the clock, cleaning up the rubble from last night's epic. It turns out that the Ghostbusters were always on our side. As I pointed out months ago, or weeks, depending on what type of calendar you use. Welcome back to Science of the Universe. I'm Ed Spengler. And I'm LeVar Gordon. Now today is our Ghostbusters special. That's right, we're going to be taking a look at the technology that saved the world.
afraid of no ghosts. Control. Now it's going so 